Cookie brownies. All right, so for the brownie batter, it's going to be two tablespoons water times two because I'm doing two packs. It's going to be one third cup vegetable oil and two eggs. It's going to be one egg times two. One third cup of vegetable oil times two. Yes. Yes. All right, so I got my one third measurements and I got my one teaspoon, well, my one tablespoon. Got my one tablespoon, but of course, I'm going to have to do four of these. Y'all, I just realized that I got a half a teaspoon. So, I got to find the two. <laughs> y'all, why y'all didn't tell me? Hey, why y'all didn't tell me that it's a half a teaspoon, baby? It's supposed to be tablespoon. So, that's supposed to be four of the tablespoons because it's two tablespoons times two. Why y'all didn't tell me it was a half a teaspoon? Y'all didn't tell me that. All right, y'all, so this is the true tablespoon right here. So, I, of course, I did four tablespoons because it's two times two. And this is the one-third cup right here of vegetable oil. As you can see, um, I'm going to do another one because, of course, you have to do two cups of the one-third vegetable oil. And then I'm going to do my two eggs. I'm going to stir it up real good. And I'm going to put my two bags of brownie batters. And I'm going to stir it up real good separately. Or you can stir it up together. Either or. It's better to stir it up separately, though. So you won't get no eggshells in your brownie mix. You don't want to get no eggshells, y'all. I did a cookie brownie recipe three or four times on YouTube. And I always tell y'all to do your water, egg, and vegetable oil separately. Separately from your brownie mix. So you won't get no eggshells in there. Unless you won't be chewing no eggs. Because every single time I decide to mix everything up together, I end up chewing on eggs. Every time, whether it's cornbread or brownies. Now, I meant to crack my egg on camera. Because I want y'all to see me crack it. And I want y'all to see how I crack the egg. Y'all, I'm like the best egg cracker of all time. So, y'all. Like, I really and truly feel like that. Like, look at that. That looks weird. Y'all, you don't supposed to over-stir it, by the way. Don't over-stir it. <laughs> don't over-stir it. All right, so we have done the brownie batter, of course. And I put it in a glass pan. Now we got to do the cookie dough. With the cookie dough, you need three tablespoons of butter, margarine, or spread, or softening. Um, so of course we got to do a whole stick of butter because I'm doing two boxes and you have to do two tablespoons times two, which is four tablespoons. All right. So I got my full stick of butter. Y'all it's supposed to be softened, not melted, but softened. It says softened right here. As you can see, I melted it. But the only reason why I did it is simply because simply because I forgot to take the butter out to soften it. So I warmed it up for 30 seconds when I was supposed to warm it up for 10 to 15 seconds. All right, you guys, so, um, yeah, so this is one teaspoon right here. So, of course, I put, because it said four tablespoons. Oh, wait, not not teaspoon, I meant tablespoon, y'all. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is one tablespoon right here, and I had to put four of these, which is four tablespoons of water up in the cookie dough, and I also put one stick of butter. And now I got to put the cookies on top of the brownies. All right, so you guys, this is pretty much how my cookie brownies turned out. Now I'm about to put it in the stove, y'all. It's looking good. It's looking nice. It's looking delicious. And, of course, you know I got to lick the bowl. I told y'all I was going to lick that bowl clean. Look at that. 